We're here with uh, James Worthy. Um, you cast your vote for Pau Gasol. What's, uh, what's impressed you so far as far as what he's brought uh, to the team this year? Well, you know, his ability to uh, rise to the occasion. You know, with Andrew Bynum being out, he has to log in a few more minutes. And, you know, I remember last year when Kobe was out for, for four or five games, he stepped up. And, uh, you know, his, uh, his intelligence for the game. He's a very savvy player and uh, very fundamentally sound and a joy to watch that. Uh, someone who uh, who has the uh, the science and the physics down of of the game, he understands it. As far as uh, his role with just uh, enhancing, I guess his responsibility with Kobe phasing back into the lineup at the beginning of the season. What impressed you as far as that goes? As far as Powell? Yeah, because I think uh, you know Phil was asking him to kind of assume more of a yeah. more of a leadership role when when Kobe was rehabbing and all that. Well, he he kind of uh, you know he kind of leads by example. And I think uh, what Phil may have been asking for was a little bit more verbal uh, leadership uh, in the locker room, um, you know, really holding guys accountable uh, while he's on the floor. And I also think, you know, he, he wanted more minutes out of him. Uh, you know, Powell didn't do as much as he's done in the past, this past summer. So he's, he has the energy, and he also has the, uh, the know-how. He's a young player that still has, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, quite a few miles left. How do you assess the rest of the Laker chances uh, to make the All-Star team? Anyone else you put on your ballot? Well, I really think um, Lamar Odom has, uh, has, has always wanted to be an All-Star, uh, to be recognized as an All-Star. And I think uh, this year is, is, is a good chance for him, uh, you know, by playing overseas and internationally and then coming back in great shape and having a good start. Uh, I think the voters will... Um, We'll, we'll think heavily about about him. Just the fact that the game is here in Los Angeles, hopefully, will um, will will we'll boost the, the the energy of the voters. But I also think the coaches understand his versatility and may you know may even vote him in that way. I know in uh, last year's playoffs, I mean there are times where where you thought he could provide more. What have you noticed as in terms of maybe any improvements or anything that he's elevated? so far this season just a little bit more aggressiveness and um, not um, not deferring as much I think sometimes when you have uh, so many you know um, avenues on your team you got Powell you got Kobe then our test brings a different level of play um, you have a lot of weapons sometimes you can you can defer too much I think his his aggressiveness and uh, his willingness to take control I think is uh, is more uh, uh, obvious than I've seen in the past. I guess it's safe to assume you'd put Kobe on there as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's a that's a no-brainer. <laughs> you know, it's no fun voting for somebody that you know you you for sure is going to make it. But yeah, for sure, Kobe. Uh, you had recently said on the air about Shannon's play. Um, just been really impressed with how much he's elevated his game. How do you think? His chance would be maybe throw his name in there in terms of uh, you know, maybe being one of the most improved players in the league. Well, I think he's in there. I think he's definitely shown that. Uh, anytime you make that type of uh, improvement, uh, especially from a, from from the perimeter, we all knew he was an exciting, uh, acrobatic, athletic player, uh, dunking the basketball. But his ability to uh, uh, to find that that range from 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 the three point lane uh, really uh, uh, really enhances his, uh, his his weaponry. So. Uh, I think he's a, a, a prime candidate for most improved player.